For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, let's do this problem that says an engine of the lightweight plane is supported by the struts that are connected to the space truss that makes up the structure of the plane. The anticipated loading in two of the struts is shown. Express each of the forces as Cartesian vector form. Easy. First you gotta do is find the position vectors. A is sits at 3i plus 2.5j plus 3k. B sits at 0i plus 3j plus 2.5k. C sits at 0i plus 3j plus 0k. And D sits at 3i plus 2.5j plus 0.5k. Now that you have the positions, let's find A to B. And that vector comes out to be bx minus ax in the i plus by minus ay in the j plus bc minus ac in the k. When you plug the numbers in, you get that this is negative 3i plus 0.5j minus 0.5k this vector a b the magnitude of this vector can be found by doing the square root of the components so you plug each of these three values into this formula and when you do you're gonna get that the magnitude is equal to 3.08 for the magnitude of a of b so the uni vector a b is equal to the vector over the magnitude which can start to be negative 0.974i plus 0.162j minus 0.162k this uni vector multiplied by the 600 pounds for force 2 can give you the Cartesian vector form of the force. So F, the magnitude of F2 is given as 600 pounds. The Cartesian vector will be the magnitude multiplied by the uni vector, which comes out to be negative 584i plus 97.2j minus 97.2k. So this is the first one. If you look at it um, by symmetry, you can get this. All you gotta do is kind of um, flip the values if you're if you wanna be smart about it. So just by symmetry, you can see that f of one is gonna be instead of going towards the negative x, it's gonna be going to towards the positive x. So instead of being uh, negative, it's gonna be positive but the only thing different is that the the force is 400 so if the force was 600 you could just um, get the copy these values and just change the sign uh, of uh, of the x and also it's going from uh, the bottom up instead of from the top down so just by flipping those values you could find it but since the force is different we actually have to calculate it so cd vector is just calculated just like you did here let me erase that so i can move a little faster so cd vector comes out to be 3i minus 0.5j plus 0.5k and the magnitude of cd is 3.08 so it's looking very familiar see almost the same vector and um, same magnitude the only difference is that the signs uh, are switched on the uh, vector so if, the, if these two forces were the same what i was telling you before is that all you have to do is just flip these values and you'll be done but the forces are different so the uni vector cd 
can be found by doing the vector CD divided by the magnitude CD which comes out to be 0.974i minus 0.162j plus 0.162k so the magnitude of F1 is given at 400 pounds F1 in Cartesian vector form then is going to be given as the magnitude multiplied by the univector that it acts upon, which is univector from C to D, which we calculated over here. So multiplying the magnitude of 400 by each of these three values will give you the Cartesian vector form at 389.6 i minus 64.8 j plus 64.8 so Cartesian vector form of F2 Cartesian vector form of F1 final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you